Hey, what's up guys? MGH here. Welcome back to the Girona Road to Glory. It's been a couple of days. I took some time off over Christmas. I recharged my batteries. I hope you guys had a fantastic time with your loved ones. Hope you ate lots of very bad food, but lovely food. Um, and of course, now we've got New Year to look forward to, but I'm back into the swing of things. We're back with the career mode content. And uh, today we are going to be kicking off the start of the new season. So this is the squad at the moment. I need to update you on a few things. So in the last episode, I think it was, or maybe the episode before, actually, I mentioned how it was quite annoying that I wasn't finding strikers, actual strikers. They were always centre forwards. And there's there's something about it that bothers me. It's, I think, a bit of an OCD thing. Um, and someone said, why not just use the cheat engine and change their position to striker? So I've actually gone ahead and done that. So we now have an actual striker. Celik is an ST instead of a CF. And uh, while I was at it, I changed Neves to a striker as well. What else did I do? I'm pretty sure I did something else. Ah, Dursen. Playing him as a centre-back, never playing him as a left-back. So I've changed him from a left-back to a centre-back. Now, until EA put position training into the game... I'm going to have to use this cheat engine to do it myself because it drives me mad when players are out of position and it's not their actual position. I know it's not a big deal to most people, but I'm OCD, man. It's It drives me mad that I was playing a left back at centre back. So I've just gone ahead and done it. Um, the only other one I changed as well was this guy, Rodriguez. So he was a left winger slash striker. I've made him a striker slash left winger because I didn't have a third striker and I was looking at this guy's stats. Now, if you look here, his finishing is 75. Left winger with 75 finishing when he's 67 rated. He, to me, was more of a striker than a left winger. So I've just gone ahead and trained his position, I guess you could say. It's a feature that I really want to see in FIFA 20. I want to be able to train their positions. So hopefully it's something they can do in the future. Otherwise, the squad is exactly as you remember it. I just wanted to update you on that and... Um, I've played a couple of games this season off camera. I played it on Christmas Day when I had an hour to do pretty much anything I wanted. I had an hour away to myself. So I've gone ahead and played a couple of games. Here are the highlights.
So we got that 2-0 win against Levante. We then, of course, played Valencia and lost 2-1, which was... Oops, didn't mean to come off that. Was a little bit of a frustrating result. But then we went ahead and got a win, 2-1 against Sociedad. So what I got from those first three games, and actually I wanted to play those games off camera so I could really learn more about the team, about the players without having to do commentary at the same time. Basically, I'm, I'm not ready to win the title or get into the Champions League. I don't think so anyway, unless I really get used to it. So uh, we're going to play more games, of course, but not every single game. I think I'm going to simulate the next game against Villarreal and then Ibar, and then I'm going to play against Atletico Madrid. So uh, let's go ahead and do this now. Villarreal away from home. Can we get ourselves three points there? No, we get ourselves a draw. Okay, so not, not the most ideal result. Let's go ahead and get into training. Wish they would fix this bug with the menus on PC. When you change tabs, the mouse or the keyboard, whatever you're using, just flicks to a different tile. Drives me mad. So Avci is now 78 rated. He has grown so quickly. And I think he's actually going to be as good as Linz very, very soon. Let's go ahead and simulate Ibar now. We'll go ahead and sim it using the sim match instead of the calendar. So first team, ready to go. This should be a win. It really should be. Yes, there you go. 2-0 two two win. Linz getting both the goals. 31st minute and the 76th minute there. Three points on the board. So as we go into the game against Atletico Madrid, our manager rating is 67. But we are in... Oh, go away. We are in fifth place. It's really not too bad, but 10 points from five games could be a lot better, let's be honest. Let's go ahead and continue simming the training drills as well. Kawasi almost 70. I kind of want to get Avci to 80 and then I'll move on to someone else. But as you saw there, the glitch is still in the game where they're just not they're not they're not growing and it drives me mad. I have spoken to EA directly. I'm not sure how much I can say. They know of the issue, but they are off over Christmas and until the end of I think oh, it might be end of December or at least after the 1st of January, New Year's Day, when they come back into the offices and then I guess they'll look into fixing it. But for now, it just isn't going to be anytime soon. Rivera got player of the month. That's our right back, isn't it? Wow. OK, so clearly he's been doing well. Let's see if he can have a good performance against Atletico Madrid. Surely going to be right up there at the end of this season. We're going to use the away kit and let's see. We've got a fully fit team. I don't need to change anything there. As usual, I can't show you the lineups, which is obviously very, very annoying. I really hate that. There is one way I can do it, though. They've gone with a very strong team. Defensively, they look a little bit weaker than I would typically see an Atletico Madrid team. But still, very strong lineup. And uh, we will definitely be up against it today. We've got some good ratings ourselves, some high-rated players. But I don't think anyone's going to be as high-rated as Griezmann, for example. And he's lost the ball already. That's a good cross. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Hit the post there. Very, very unlucky not to score. What a, a great shot that was from such a tight angle. I think my favourite player so far, though, is Gocek. I absolutely love this guy. Every time I get the ball to him, I just want to shoot. But unfortunately, because he plays as a centre mid, he doesn't really get forward as much as I would like. Here he is now, though. Here we go. I'm going to hit that. Go on. Oh, I've hit the bar. So unlucky. I almost think he's kind of like my Witzel to Dortmund right now. Just an absolute rock in midfield. Pass that inside for Linz. Here we go. Get on the break. Put the striker through. Here we go. He's left-footed, of course. Hits it. Oh, my God. What a save, Oblak. No one's going to be as high-rated as him either. I mean, in fairness, Castell, our goalkeeper, he's 20 years old and he's 88 rated. So he will be better than Oblak. But I don't think at the moment, I think Oblak is probably 92, 93 rated, something like that. Griezmann's probably 90, 91. It's, uh, wait, is that, that's Thomas Muller, isn't it? They've got Tol Thomas Muller playing at centre mid. Pass that inside to Montenegro. One of the highest rated players in our team. Guerin with the finesse shot. Oh my God. Oh my God. Perfect replay here. Oh no, it's changing angle. Why would you do that? I wanted to see the curve. It's such a stupid replay, this. Why do I need to see seven shots of him about to take the shot? That is a brilliant finish, though, from Guerin. I think that's going to be it. There we go. Half time. We're winning 1-0 away from home here. That's a good, good first half performance from us. Let's hope for more of the same in the second half because a win here would be really good. And actually, that would boost my confidence because, like I said at the start, I'm not feeling that confident right now to get top four. I just don't think I can do it, but maybe I can. 
What I don't want to do is concede early in this first half. So, oh, okay. Just give it away. Why not? Here's Griezmann now. Oh, Reyna. Reyna is so good. He's got 99 sprint speed, by the way. How broken is that? Celic now. Over to Montenegro. Back inside. Good first touch. Going to dink it into the box. Go on, Guerin. Oh. He should be winning headers. He is six foot one after all, but unfortunately the cross wasn't great. The possession is literally 50-50 right now. I'm going to have to make a change soon. I think maybe I'm going to change my midfield. Rayner's done a great job there. Keep it in. Yep, yeah, just give it back. Honestly, I'm making some silly mistakes. And that's a really good ball. Good save, Castell. And we might actually be in here. Neves and Avci combining. Oh, what a ball. Oh, someone get there. Montenegro. Oh, Oblak just about keeps it out. No, don't do this to me, game. I want this win. I deserve this win. Blow the whistle. We've had two minutes extra, please. Blow the whistle. Thank you very much. 1-0 winners. I will take that. Let's go ahead and finish off September now. Malaga, 4-0 win. Massive win. Let's get into training again. So this is what I'm going to be doing in this season. I said I'd start playing games and taking it a bit more seriously. I will be playing at least a couple of games a month. Maybe one, maybe two. Kwasi now 70 rated. That's good to see, although he'll still be 69, of course. So that took us up to second place. Wow. That's really exciting. So maybe I, maybe I was just doubting myself and I really don't need to. And I've just seen that Celta are actually in sixth place. So this game could be a difficult one. And it's an away game, which just makes it a little bit more unlikely that we'll get the win. But we're going to go for it. We get a one or draw. I mean, it's not too bad. I was worried we were going to lose that one, but uh, we'll take the point. It means we're unbeaten since that loss we got at the start there. Rivera, one of our best players at the moment, in form six weeks out. Could be a lot worse. We've got a, a message from Abelado. He wants to play more games. Maybe we could give him a go in our next match. I haven't actually used him. We've got more training that we can do here. What I would like to do is try a, try a couple of different formations. I've only used kind of a 4-3-3 a three, three so far, or maybe a 4-2-3-1. Um, so maybe we could play around with the formation in this next game. I think I'm going to go ahead and play this game against Real Batiste. They are currently top of the table. So let's simulate the game against Sevilla. It is a home game. And we get a 2-0 win. Back to winning ways. And that means we can do a bit more training now. And then we'll get into that game against Batiste. They've actually dropped down to third now, but they do have a game to play. So uh, we're above them and we can go even further above them should we beat them, which is exactly what we want, what we want to do. And look at that. Really successful training. Both players going up by one there, but not actually because the game's broken. So, of course, we cannot have Rivera in. So Ojeda's going to get a start. Let's see this Abelado guy. So he is 70 rated. He's a cam or a centre forward. So why not give him a go? We'll take Avci off and we'll bring on Linz as a second half substitution maybe. Uh, for this game, I'm actually thinking of going with a 5-2-3. A I might give it a go. So we've got three up top. We can have Abelado and Guerin maybe in midfield. I kind of want to give Abelado a go as a centre midfielder, although... He does seem to be better as kind of behind the striker. So maybe that formation just won't work. Maybe we go with a 5-2-1-2. So we can get him at Cam. I think that's what we're going to do. So we'll go with... Uh, how am I going to do this? I'm going to put Roche up front with Celic. And I'm going to put... Where is he? Abelado at Cam. So Montenegro is going to come out for this game. We're going to have Guerin and Gocek. Ojeda, Reyna... Dursen could go on the left side, bat her as the wing back, and then we're going to bring in Cisse, who is a giant six foot six centre back or CDM. That is his it's his perfect position. Rayner can play right back, so that's his perfect position as well. And Dursen could play centre back and left back, so that's his perfect position. Maybe we're onto something here. This could be the formation we go with, but maybe with three up top because I do want to get Montenegro in there. So that's the lineup we're going to go with. Let's take out Bacero and bring in a need a centre back just in case. And we're going to go with Kowasi or Yalman. We'll go with Yalman. He's slightly higher rated. Another new stadium that I've not played at yet in this game. I love the fact that they've got the La Liga fully licensed. It's definitely an improvement. It's nice to get more of that every time the new FIFA comes out. I'm hoping at some point we'll have all the Italian stadiums and all of the Bundesliga stadiums as well. That would be 
fantastic. I know it probably won't happen for a while. They've only conceded four goals in nine games. Yeah, we're going to change that today. Look at the space out on the right here. It was a deflected pass. Maybe do a little one-two. Wasn't the greatest one-two, and that's going to be a goal kick as well. Let's try the same, but down this left side. The one-two's worked really well there. We'll get that cross in. Decent ball. Roche was there, but I'd rather it was Celik, seeing as, you know, he's six foot five. But now our defence is going to be tested. Oh, God. Has Durson got the, the pace? I don't think he has, but he's got the strength. No, he doesn't. Please clear that. Oh, lovely, Ojeda. Lovely. And Abelado, what a touch. Lots of space on this left wing here. Going to push that one through for Celik. He should get there. Bateau is going to do the overlap on the inside. Pass it inside again. Over onto the right wing. I should have maybe passed it to Abelado, but it's okay. Chance still alive. And it's going to be a corner. So it was deflected off Abelado's shot there. Let's see if we can get a delivery in. It's not bad. Go on. Oh, come on. Abelado, show me why you should have started this game. Go on. Okay. I see you, Abelado. I see you. We are into the second half now. The first half wasn't great. We were unfortunate not to score, maybe. But uh, Real Betis had more possession. They had better pass accuracy. They were actually pretty impressive. So uh, I'm hoping that this second half is going to be better for us. Try and get a cross in here. Go on, win the header. He has. Straight at the keeper, though. I mean, we're 60 minutes in and whatever I'm doing isn't working. So I'm bringing on my star man, my Pele, Linz. I know he's not as good as Pele yet. And maybe never will be, but you kind of get what I'm saying. He's a small Brazilian, very skillful. And I'm hoping he can give me a little bit more going forward than Abelado did. That's a pass inside for Roche. Nice turn back. Can he finish it? No, it was off target anyway. Can Guerin win it back? Yes, he can. Here's go check. In for Roche. This time maybe. Yes. He pokes it home. Linz wasn't involved, but making a substitution has seemed to... I, I don't know. It's changed the game for me. We're 1-0 up. Let's see if we can get a second goal now. I can definitely see why Real Betis are doing so well in the league until they did that. Was that, was that a shot? I, I don't even know what that was. But they have been very good in this game. I think they're a little bit unlucky to be 1-0 down. But can we actually make it worse for them? Put that one through. Okay. Celik should get there. We're going to have to cross this. I've got no support. Actually, I'll pass it back. Then give it to Renaud. Oh, God. It was not a good pass. But he's, he's done well there. Onto the right side now. Look at the space we've got. Need to find a pass now. And it was not the correct choice. Come on. Don't concede now. Yes. Thank you, referee. Ends the game. When he should. Two minutes played. So, that was another good result for us. 1-0. Wasn't our best performance ever, but as long as we're winning games, who actually cares? It's all about getting the three points. Now, let's find out where we are in the league table. Um, up next is actually a Spanish Cup game, but I want to see the league table and see where we are. And we are top of the league. Oh, yes. Ten games played. Seven wins. Two draws. One loss. 17 goals scored, which isn't actually that much compared to some of the other teams. Madrid have 21, Barcelona have 20, but we've only conceded five, which is the equal joint best to Real Betis. They'd only conceded four, so uh, we gave them an extra number there. But we are top of the league, so clearly you need to ignore what I was saying at the start there of this episode, that I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to do much this season, because... I think I can. You know, we're coming towards the end of October already. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and sim the Spanish Cup game now. We'll get that out of the way. We've got a 2-0 win. Uh, Getafe is a home game as well. Can I do training just before it? Yes, we can. Because I want to try and get training done every single week. Otherwise, it's a wasted opportunity, isn't it? Kwasi is 70 now. Avci should be 79, but he's not. Um, let's see if we can continue this winning streak. I think Getafe are bottom half, so we'll sim this one as well. And we get a draw. Not the best result, but going into November, we've got three games here. And uh, the Spanish second game, the Spanish Cup second game against Osasuna is in December. And look at this. So in the next episode, we'll definitely be playing the Real Madrid game and the Barca game. Before you know it, we're into January. And like I said, I want this, this season to still go relatively quickly. Um, but of course, I need to be finishing in the top four. So as of right now, we're looking good. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have had a fantastic couple of days with Christmas. We're back. Hopefully you're excited to see more of this series. 
leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you in the next one very soon.